Good morning, Cyber Trainers. Welcome back from vacation. Hope everybody had a great week. And it is the 21st of January, everybody. Good to see you all. Good morning, Kathy. There you go. Good, good to see you, Chuck, Dave, everyone. Barb, Bali, Benito. Good to see you. Ken, everyone. Gene. All the cyber traders, so we're doing pretty good so far this morning on this GNPX, huh? Look at that little bad boy make a nice little pop. 40 cents to a buck 26, I'll take that, you know? Nice little move right there on that position. But uh, it still looks pretty damn strong. Listen, you guys remember the stock. We traded it not too long ago. I think it was like in our November. You can see it right here. We sold the stock over from 40 cents to about a buck 20 again. It is, it's actually breaking all-time highs. But we remember we trade the stock, and also um, I want you to go check out my blog. You know we've been doing a lot of blog articles, and and this is actually a penny stock. So I'm going to write an article on penny stocks on and explain a little bit more about it. Once again, it's not what we do here in the morning meeting, but uh, I want to educate everyone a little bit more about what we're dealing with when we deal with these stocks right here. But um, shockingly, surprisingly, they've been kind of making a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a noise in the market. Uh, the only bad thing about it is I get a little nervous when it comes to looking for iceberg orders and all that good stuff and all that fun stuff. But anyway, let's uh, let's talk about what happened on Friday, and then we'll go back and go through the watch list and see what's going on. First of all, a couple of good stocks that we traded on Friday. For some of you that were not here, or maybe today is your first day in the room, just want to cover a couple of things that we did cover. Uh, first of all, let's start off with the SNCA. Okay. It ran up most of the day, and hopefully it doesn't look that good right here. Let me fix the chart so you guys can see what happened. Uh, there we go. Put a three-minute chart. So this stock took a, a huge, huge hit, came straight down, and – oh, wrong one. Hold on. Sorry. Hold on one second. There we go. All right. So stock was a, was a fun stock. I mean, huge short squeeze, and this is what I always keep telling you. You can't go broke taking a profit. You can see this thing. We traded it. went from a buck fifty all the way to $4. Um, I got nervous. At some, I just kept selling it, buying and selling, buying and selling it. And you know what? Because you can wake up one second and boom, the thing goes right down. This was a great, great short squeeze. And uh, a lot of you made a lot of money on it. It was great. But for some of you that don't understand how short squeeze works or why the stock tank, that's what's going to happen in class today, you know, when, you, when you're in class this week. So remember, but anyway, at the end of the day, don't ask me why it's at a buck forty, where how to go up. It's irrelevant. At the end of the day, we made money, we traded it. It was a lot of fun, and that was really, really cool. Now let's talk about some brand name stocks. So we all know about LK. So LK has been on fire. It's at fifty bucks so far. Um, it's been a, you know, obviously you know what's going on with with the the US MCA trade. You see what's going on with the China deal, you know. So a lot of these stocks are really like taking off and capitalizing on it. So a lot of, and also the other one too, Neo, and it's moving to also this morning, INO. I mean, there's a lot of nice little China stocks that you guys could be trading that are doing pretty well that are within your budget. You know, these not like, you know, trading like Alibaba or anything like that, but they're pretty good stocks. They're working out pretty well. And, uh, you know, we all capitalize on, especially the L LK. That was just, that's that, that, that it's not only been a good day trade, it turned into a phenomenal swing trade. A couple other ones uh, that moved up nicely through the day. Let's talk about with some of the pot stocks. Crone, CROS, that one actually worked not as pretty as the other ones, but these stocks have been taking a big hit. Listen, I, I, I've been talking to people, and they keep asking me. I have some people that lost a ton of money on this stuff. You know, everyone's worried about, oh, they're legalizing it. Canada, 100% legal. All of Canada, U.S. is starting to legalize it. Listen, great story. You know, you, you know, don't let your political beat get involved with it. Oh, it's wrong, whatever. At the end of the day, listen, you know, it sounds like a great story, but apparently it's not really doing as well as we thought it was going to do. So the stocks obviously you know, are probably projected a lot more and, uh, you know, not really doing too well. CGC was another one that was trading side by side with it. That one also did pretty well. And the AMD trade, let's go back to that one. All-time highs. Holy crap. You know, this stock has just been a tear from the beginning of the year. October, $20 stock with a 50. 
you know, listen, you want to be a good swing trader, want to be a good investor, you damn well know what happens over the course of the day. And AMD showed that to you in black and white. All right, so let's talk about this morning. What is moving this morning? There are a couple of nice little stocks that are moving. Now, remember, uh, it is a Tuesday. It's not Monday, everyone. So the market was closed yesterday. Uh, you know, observed into a Martin Luther King Day, which, you know, I'd like to thank him for what he's done, his service. Uh, you know, if everyone celebrated, you know, it was great. And, uh, but the bad part about it is that it was a three-day week. So we all know, like, Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, all these days, they, you know, when you have three-day weeks, a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of news doesn't come out, like, on a Friday afternoon and, and coming back on a Tuesday morning because people take long weekends. Especially here in New York when it's cold. Everybody wants to go on vacation, hit someplace warm. So a lot of these traders are away. And you could see even yesterday, even though the futures, the futures were open up yesterday, you could see they did absolutely nothing. What do you got the futures doing this morning? You know, I know we were down a little bit. Oil's down, you know, what about 34 cents? Gold is down nine bucks, almost at sixteen thousand. Well, yeah, we've been sitting at the same place since this morning. We're down like sixty-eight points, um, at that end of the world. But there are a couple of good stocks I do want to talk about that obviously. If you look at some of the brand name stocks, they're not going anywhere. But when you look at the stocks that we're looking at, we got some nice movers right here. Let me fix my time frame because I don't need to see what's happening three days from now. We need to see what's happening, you know, in a minute chart. So here you have the stock right here. Just please keep in mind, everyone, you aren't, you know, you're not dealing with a NASDAQ national. A lot of you remember this trading the stock back in um, November. Go back to your journals that we teach you in class, review them, see how you trade that stock. See if you made money, you lost money. Hopefully, you took very good notes and knew the person and, and the way it trades. Remember, we, we tell you how we warn you when you trade stock that just you have to look out for them. NVAX, I know everybody's having fun with that one. So, NVAX, I mean, holy crap. So, I wake up this morning, I lock up, I open up the room around 7 30 this morning, and all of a sudden, I'm seeing NVAX from six dollars to eight and went all the way to 10. Okay, so NVAX is breaking, you know, a big high right here. You can see it right here, breaking that high. And uh, if I put a weekly chart, you can see it. It's, I mean, the stock index. Some of us remember this thing. Was that a $50 stock? It just got destroyed, crushed. But when you look over here in the long term, you know, we're, it looks like we're testing some resistance levels right here. And index is a Nasdaq national stock, so you got some good iceberg orders out there. I see a big seller sitting here at 12,000 right here at, at 980. Kind of explains why we're having a tough time breaking it. So index. Also, please keep in mind. Four million shares already traded. The market's not even open yet. That I mean, I was just I just did a presentation, an on-site presentation last week, and people are like it's amazing how some people today still don't understand the, where these orders come from, who's trading them, why is it doing what it's doing. Well, that's why you get that's why you, that's why you hear it's time to university. You know, this is where we make most of our money. Anyway, great move, great pop. But um, she kind of a little teeter tottered right at the gate, so you can see how volatile she is, going from 10 down to about 875. You know, so this is not your typical level one stock. So be very, very careful. The VIVE. So this one, let me bring this one up. The VIVE has probably been so far maybe the most comfortable stock trading this morning. It had a nice little pop. It is Nasdaq National. And uh, you got better iceberg orders out here on this stock. She is a little stagnant right now. Uh, since when? Since 8:30, she had that huge pop at 8:30. That's where program trading kicks in. There is a hum there's a humongous seller I've been seeing. I've been watching here. It's actually adding to his order. There's about an, a 43,000 share seller that's sitting about a buck 50, which is right around here. And uh, there's 20,000, but there's some more orders on other ECNs out there. So combined with, you know, NASDAQ, ARCA, Cincinnati, EDGX, all of them, you know, you got some big orders and you also got another 17,000 at, at a buck 44. So I want to see that or, that get filled. Is that a lot? I don't know. Trade 2 million shares. So nice little stock. Stock was a $800 stock. This stock got decimated. I mean, literally crushed. So... If you think you're if you're too late to the party, I don't know. Listen, stock had a big gap fill right here. It's been you know doing pretty well. I like stocks like this. This is one of my favorites. So I put a little star next to it. And I'm also gonna keep an eye on the INO. I don't know. The stock took a big pop and it came back down. I don't know what happened. But um 
I would probably be, I, like I said, I like more. This stock trades a lot of volume, but I, I like the BIBE a lot better. All right. So anything I'm missing, cyber traders that I missed? I think we pretty much got them all. Really like this VIBI. Let me keep an eye on it. I love stocks that get crushed like this, you know, and because sometimes they come back and, you know, if it starts building some stability here, this could be the, you know, I we've seen this happen before, how they make little comebacks. All right. Yeah, the F cell, you know, I looked at that Chuck earlier. Uh, typed in the wrong box. I know F cell has been one of our stocks that we've been watching consistently. This stock went from a dollar, went to like 250. Uh, it, it gapped up a little bit. It is a NASDAQ national stock. You know what? It just made a move right now. I, I, I was considering it, but now that you bring it up, I definitely will put it on our watch list. That's a good call. Good call. That's that's. I guess that's what I train you guys what to do. It's all about contributing content, and you did a good job right there. Perfect. All right, guys, so there's our watch list. There's our stocks we're going to be trading. And uh, for everybody that's new here or is listening on YouTube or Facebook, please, do, do, please take consideration. Only one of them, two of them might be good ones. Something I might pick might not even do crap, you know, might not do anything. But we always find new ones that will pop up at 930. So for all the cyber traders out there, you see something, say something, all right? Remember, we're a team. Let's work together like a team. And, um, you know, make sure you make your call outs on the iceberg orders. And, you know, if you see something, you know, all support and resistance levels, just like we teach you in class. Remember, it's, we're, we're working together. It's not a Fausto show. It's a cyber trader group. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll start commentating in about 15 minutes when the market opens up.